Hi, this is Halal. In this video, we will try to solve your problem on cross elasticity of demand. The question is like this Cross elasticity of demand of metro riders is given as 0.8, and total ridership per day is 1.5 lakh. If price of bus riders rises by 5%, the change in total metro riders will be the options are 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, or 7,500. So, we will see how to solve. First, uh, cross price elasticity of demand is given by the formula that is equal to percentage change in let us say quantity of x our percentage change in the price of related uh, related good or related commodity. So, this is change in uh, change in quantity uh, quantity demanded of good x and this is a change in change in change in price of related related commodity okay so we have two commodities here uh, services uh, to, to be precise we have metro riders and we have the bus riders okay so what is the cross price elasticity of demand we are being given cross price elasticity of demand is given as 0 0.8 here okay and percentage uh, percentage change uh, in percentage change in metro riders total metro riders we have to find okay uh, percentage uh, change in price of uh, bus riders so i will write br is bus riders is given as 5 okay so just using this very uh, formula we have elasticity of cross so first i will write again it we have cross price elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in percentage change in metro riders okay uh, divided by percentage uh, change in percentage changes price of bus riders okay i will write it like this so this is given us uh, 0 0.8 so i will write 0 0.8 is equal to a percentage change in metro riders i will write like this okay what is percentage change in the price of bus bus riders that is uh, for you okay i will write here for you so we can just cross multiply so we have 0 0.8 into for you is equal to percentage change in metro riders that means percentage change in metro riders is equal to 0.8 into 5 is equal to 4 okay so percentage change in metro riders is 4 but we have to find change in total metro riders therefore uh, change uh, in total total uh, metro riders it is same uh, would be equal to because we are being given total ridership is total uh, ridership is given as 1.5 lakh okay so that means that means percentage change or change in total metro riders would be equal to that would be equal to percentage change percentage change in metro riders uh, times total ridership okay total ridership so what is percentage change in metro riders which we have calculated that is equal to 4 into that is 4 percent actually 4 percent into total ridership is 1.5 lakh we can write it like this one is tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh so this is 1.5 so this can be written as like 4 hour 104 percent into 1 point sorry 1 tens 100 thousand 10 thousand lakh so these two gets cancelled uh, 1500 into 4 comes out to be 6000 that means change in total metro riders will be equal to 6000 okay let me repeat this 
we were being given the cross elasticity of demand of metro rate is 0 0.8 okay so this is here 0 0.8 and total ridership per day is 1.5 lakh okay we were told that uh, the price of bus rides rises by riders rises by 5% and we have to find the change in the total metro rides okay so for that first we need the cross price elasticity of demand that is simply equal to percent change in the quantity of x divided by percent percentage change in the price of related goods okay so we have two uh, goods here we have metro rides and bus riders okay so just using uh, mr is acronym for uh, metro rides and p subscript br for the price of bus riders so the cross price elasticity of demand would be percentage change in percentage change in the metro riders uh, divided by percentage change in the price of bus riders okay when solving we get a percentage change in metro riders is equal to 4 which is percent here okay also we were being given that total ridership is 1.5 lakh that means change in total uh, metro riders would be equal to percentage change which we calculated here 4 percent into total ridership which was given as 1.5 lakh when uh, multiplying these two numbers we get 6000 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you